Hello everybody, my name is Lina and I'm here with Ape Tech STEM Tutorials. Today we're going to be learning about variables. And variables are basically containers where you can put integers, characters, a string of characters, or a true or false value. And we're going to look at those through the use of Scratch. So stick around if you guys want to learn about that. Don't forget to subscribe and like us and let's get started. <music> First thing we want to do to learn about variables is to go ahead and click on this orange circle here that says variables and this is how we create variables in Scratch. Uh, Scratch already gives us this variable but I don't want to use it so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one and I'll go ahead and create a new one and I'm going to call this one integer and you can call it whatever you want I'm just calling it that because I'll be using an integer and I would like my variable to be descriptive. It is very important to always make variables that are very descriptive. And then I'm going to have a string. And let's say we want to have a decimal. So now that we have our variables set, I want to go ahead and initialize those variables. So initialize means, means to set up, when our program starts, we want to set up variables to a good state. So the first thing I want to do is to set up my decimal to zero and I want to set my integer to zero as well and I would like to set up my string to let's say I want to set it to hello so this here is setting up my variables I am setting them to something known that I want my program to start with after we set up our variables what we want to do is go ahead and use them so let's say I want to use them for where my characters click. So I'm going to go here under events and click on get this block here that says when this part clicked, then what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the variable that I need. I want to change my, my decimal to let's say 1.8. And let's go ahead and use that. So what I want to do is I want to change the size of my cat by 1.8. So let's go to looks and we're going to change size by decimal. So to do that, we're going to go under variables and we're going to grab our decimal and put it right here. So this will allow us to change our sprite, which is our cat, by the size of decimal. So what this program will do is when the flag initializes, so when it's clicked, it will initialize all these variables. And then if my sprite is clicked, so when my cat is clicked, my decimal will be increasing by 1.8 every time I click it. So let's, let's see that. And as you can see, my cat is increasing and this number here is increasing by 1.8 and the cat is growing and growing and growing. So there we go. So one thing I want to take care of is what happens to my sprite when I click on the flag again. So when I restart my program, I want to make sure that my character is back to normal. So to do that, I am going to go ahead and set the size to 100. And there we go. Now you have your cat to normal size. And all your variables have been set back to normal. All right, now that we had that, let's go ahead and change the integer and the string. I'm going to do those both because I would like to use this say hello. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our variable. And we're going to be changing first the integer. So let's say we want to change the integer by one. Now to change our string, we cannot do a change. We have to use a set. Because when you change an integer, when you change something by something, it's a number. It has to be changed by a number. So to change our string to another string, then we have to change it using the set. Let's use string. And I'm going to say goodbye. Okay. So now how am I going to use those two strings here? I'm going to be using the say hello for two seconds, but instead of this hello and these two, I'll be using the integer and the string variables. 
So let's go ahead and put an integer here. And let's go ahead and put the string here. So now if we do that, let's see what it does. So when my sprite is clicked, it will increase by 1.8 and it will say goodbye first for one second. Now it has to say for two. The next time I click it, it should say it for three. One, two, three. It has a little delay, but it's there. Maybe I'm counting too fast. Okay, again, one, two, three, four. All right guys, so that was a cover of variables and I hope that helped you understand how variables actually work. They're basically containers that you can store something into them and then modify them to do something else. Like for example, a calculator uses variables to hold values in it that you can later manipulate to show you a product or a sum or a subtraction or something like that. So variables are very important and one of the most important things about variables is to make sure you name them a very descriptive name because that will help you in the future when you're reading your program and going, what exactly did I use this variable for? It will give you a clue on what it was used for. And uh, that's all we have today. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.